Look, today we're going to read about the gingerbread man. I know that you all made gingerbread houses, so we're going to talk about gingerbread man. Once upon a time, a little old man and a little old woman lived in a cottage near the river. One morning, the little old woman decided to bake a gingerbread man as a special treat. She's there, look at her, she's in her kitchen. Have you ever seen one of these? It's a recipe. This is the recipe to make a gingerbread man. The little old woman mixed together all the ingredients to make the gingerbread dough. Then she rolled the dough flat and used the cutter to make it into the shape of a little man. Finally, she made some icing for his eyes in his mouth, and she gave him three currant buttons and a cherry for his nose. The gingerbread was ready to be baked. Half an hour later, the gingerbread was baked, and the little old woman opened the oven. And suddenly, the gingerbread man ran and jumped through the open kitchen door. Stop, cried the old woman running after him. I want to eat you. But the ginger man wouldn't stop and he didn't want to be eaten. And he said, run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch me, I'm the gingerbread man. The ginger man ran past the little old man. Stop, cried the old man, I want to eat you. But the gingerbread man ran even faster. I run away from the little old woman, and I run away from you, he said. And he said, run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. The little old woman and the little old man chased the gingerbread man into the yard, but he was too fast. As he ran past the pig, the pig said, I want to eat you. But the gingerbread man ran even faster. I've run away from the little old woman and the little old man, and I can run away from you, he said. Oh, look, we've got the little old woman and the little old man and the pig and now the cow. Run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man, he chanted. The pig chased the gingerbread man, followed by the little old man and the little old woman. The gingerbread man ran past a cow by the barn. Moo! Stop, said the cow. I want to eat you. I've run away from the little old woman and a little old man and a pig, and I can now run away from you, the gingerbread man cried. Run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man, he chanted. The cow, the pig, and the little old man and the little old woman all chased the gingerbread man but the gingerbread man was too fast. He ran past a horse in the field. Nay, stop, said the horse, I want to eat you. I've run away from the little old woman and the little old man, a pig and a cow, and I can now run away from you too. And so he said, say it with me guys, run, run as fast as you can, you can't catch me, I'm the gingerbread man. The horse chased the gingerbread man, followed by the pig, the little old man and the little old woman, but the gingerbread man was too fast. Then the gingerbread man reached the river and he stopped. The sparkly water swirled in front of him. Oh no, he cried, I can't swim. How will I ever get across? A sly and a hungry fox saw the gingerbread man and he licked his lips. Jump onto my tail and I will take you across the river, he said. So the gingerbread man jumped onto the fox's tail. Was that a good decision? No, it was not. After swimming halfway, the fox said, you're too heavy for my tail, jump onto my back. And so the gingerbread man ran along the fox's bushy tail and jumped onto his back. And after a while, the fox cried, Oh, you're too heavy for my back. Jump onto my nose. So the gingerbread man jumped onto the fox's nose. Uh-oh, what's going to happen? But as soon as they reached the riverbank, the fox flipped the gingerbread man up into the air and snapped. 
his mouth shut and he gobbled him up. And that was the end of the gingerbread man, the end. <laughs>